Hello, Internet. Uh, I've got a LED running over there. And it's busy drawing power from my caps here, from the batteries. So if I disconnect them, it's on and off. Now there's nothing flowing. I've got 11. Point one. Now the batteries are recovering themselves a bit. Eleven point two volts there. Now what I've got here is I've got the normal induction coil <coughs> with one transistor that I normally use. I've got the scope, and if I connect that I get the blue trace on the transistor here and the yellow trace on the second coil the first coil the first of the two big coils I've got connected to the collector of the transistor. Now, the two big coils, I'm just lining them down for the sake of space here. But I can have them standing upright. Oh, my scope probes are too small to measure that. The lights are on. Now the lights I've got connected to the first big coil. To the output of the first big coil on the one side. I disconnect that jumper. Oh man, come on. Come on. <laughs> so the lights connected to the first coil. The second coil only connected to the yellow trace on my oscilloscope going through the back here and the other side of the second quill connected to the other side LED lights. LED lights drawing 200 milliamps at 10.6 volts. 
which is less than what one normal LED will be drawing. So if I stop that and I put the LED light on in the front there, it draws almost the same. So, using these two coils enable me to light up five of those LED lights for the same price as what I normally would light up one. Now, I would call that free energy because I get four of those LED lights shining for free. <laughs> yeah, I think that's free energy for you. In any case, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.